the standard T14 hyperdrive generator type of hyperdrive engine, commonly used for hyperspace travel throughout almost the entire inhabited galaxy by the era of the Clone Wars, was shaped like a flat upright panel, the null quantum field generator, connecting between two vertical pole-shaped capacitors, the alluvial dampers, a rectangular sheet of magnetized circuitry, the hyperdrive field guides, housed in an ornate metallic casing, the hyperdrive motivator itself. Each of these parts serves its function, which we will come to presently. However, for now, we can see the overall apparatus is unimpressively simple. The technology of the hyperdrive engine is also essentially quite simple and easily apprehended, at least well enough by most spacers to be able to service and modify their own ships. It is essentially the same technology as a circuit breaker that connects, rather than a capacitor to a gate, one location in space to another. It was found very early on in primitive societies that smaller, lighter weight and less dense particles could move faster unimpeded, so the earliest power systems relied on plugging sources to ends using open-air feeds for an electrical current. Likewise, it was found that using relativistic shielding could accomplish an effect for a space vessel in hyperspace alike the buoyancy that keeps a boat afloat in fluid. This allowed a shielded ship to skim above the photic speed limit of real space through hyperspace like a smooth stone skipped through still air across the surface of a quiet pond. The physics behind it may involve mathematics capable of being calculated in a pinch solely by a complex navicomputer, However, aside from ever-moving astrographic recalibrations for the autopilot, the essential mechanics of hyperspace travel are equally easy to conceptualize, apprehend, and apply. When the technologies of navicomputers, relativistic shielding, and the hyperdrive engine were finally perfected to an extent of their successful passing all performance tests equally as well as one another, the technology was deemed functional and achieved such common usage that it quickly reached a plateau on which it has since perpetuated on in nearly the same form for almost 25,000 years. Aside from such discoveries as other space and anomalies such as time travel having been rare and easily filtered toward the margins, the technology of the hyperdrive engine has not needed to adapt to much during that entire time. Since the expansionist era's beginning with the use of the hyperdrive engine, until the Battle of Yavin, we can measure the passage of at least some 25,053 light years. During this time, five grand hyperspace lanes have been ingrained for mass transit across the vast distances of the 120,000 light year diameter of the galactic disk. The five main hyperlanes are 1. The Corellian Trade Spine, connecting Ison in the Elrude sector to Corellia in the Core Worlds. 2. The Rima Trade Route, connecting the Minos Cluster in the Cathel sector to Abrogado Ray in the Core Worlds. 3. The Hydean Way, connecting Bonadin in the corporate sector to Rutan in the Elrude sector. 4. The Corellian Run, connecting Ryloth in the Outer Rim to Coruscant in the Core Planets. And 5. The Parlemian Trade Route, connecting Quermia in the Meridian sector to Coruscant in the Core Worlds.